People of the Purple Butterfly here, otherwise known as People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube, People of Elsewhere on the Internet. My blog is located at purplebutterfly-people.blogspot.com and my soap, Purple Butterfly Soap, can be located at people.etsy.com. And I'm going to take my medicine, but it says you have to wash your hands before and after, which is fine. But it occurred to me that any medicine that says do not store in the bathroom and do not do this and do not do that, then shouldn't they have said do not store in your bedroom? Because that's where I got it. So I now have a little cage to put it in and a, what do you call this, um, freshness seal. Uh, a Tupperware type dealio. So, let's see. Is that warm enough? Good enough. So, I figure, and I made sure that it would fit in the container by taking an old bottle of medicine and testing it. One second, please. Mm. And then, of course, now I have some soap and some water. To wash my hands. And a top that will fill that in. Because if it can't go in the bathroom, and it can't go in the refrigerator, and it can't go here, then why am I keeping it 15 feet from my face? So, that will contain it in the little cage, basically. So that way, whatever part of the medicine that can affect is in the bottle, and then the bottle is in a whole nother container. And then I took one of my soaps and one of these, and I added extra water to this to make sure it's always wet. So that way, when I need to wash my hands, I can and lather up and everything. And then I had this towel that I can throw way across the room, you know, to dry off or whatever. But... Yeah, safety first. Now all I got to do is figure out what I'm going to eat for dinner because we had a late breakfast and a late lunch. And I'm not actually hungry, even though it's dinner time. But I'm going to have to eat something. So I'm trying to think of what's light. And I've already had two salads this week, so I'm not going to press my luck because I want to get to Friday want to have another salad because when you're restricted on how much of what you can eat in a week and my nurse said <laughs> I'm so happy for you you got your diagnosis now don't go celebrating with a salad I went I promise I won't today <laughs> so I didn't today but tomorrow or Friday I'm going to want a salad so, anyway, it's contained in there. I'm going to get in touch with um, someone about, hold on, because it's kind of rude to look in the camera, but I'm going to get in touch with someone, um, not from the CDC, um, there's a pamphlet you can actually get that tells you how to handle hazardous materials, blah, 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 and it says hazardous drugs, to see if that container is suitable, because I was told, keep it in a metal box, keep it in something ceramic or glass, this is a Tupperware container, keep it in another room, but the only two rooms up here, one's a soap lab, where I make soaps, so... 
that's not an option because everything in that room is sterile, and I'm not going to try to, you know, I mean, if there's something that's in the air that can affect my DNA, which is what this medicine does, it affects my bone marrow, marrow and my platelets, then, yeah, I don't want to just have it somewhere in there, you know, but by the same token, where I had it, you know, well, hold on, let me just show you. Okay. Here's the medicine. You see that? This container and my jewelry, they were right next to each other. So, in this container, the container is inside of the container, and this is the headboard that my bed is on. I mean, here's my pillow. <laughs> There's another pillow. Here's where I'm sitting. So, yeah, don't want to put that right there. Unless there's, you know, something that's going to block whatever it can do. If it's, you know, wash your hands. Open it just long enough to get the medicine out. Take the medicine. Wash your hands again. Contain the container. <laughs> and I'm almost tempted to wash my hands again. And knowing me, because I am a germaphobe and I am a little bit paranoid about this situation, probably will do exactly that. Anyway, thought I'd share that um, anybody else that has to take these types of medicines for, like, sickle cell or ET, which is what I have, or, you know, well, primary or secondary or whatever, and they have to take medicines that have that label that says, uh, well, I'm going to show you what the label says because I had a whole bunch of writing on this thing. Hazardous drug, um, blah, blah, blah. It actually has a label just for that on it. Hazardous drugs, wash hands before and after use. Pregnant women should not come in contact with this medication. And, well, there's just a bunch of writing on it. So I figured just to be on the safe side, it's in his own little container, which is far enough away from my face that, you know, basically it's in his own little room that can't affect anything, hopefully. But I do intend to get some information that, you know, will confirm or deny. And if there are special precautions or procedures, I'll worry about it then. Anyway, this has been People 7 on Twitter and YouTube, People elsewhere on the Internet. My blog is located at purplebutterfly-people.blogspot.com, and my soaps, Purple Butterfly Soaps, can be located at people.etsy.com. Y'all stay blessed and stay tuned. Bye now.